hold on right there. This isn't just another black hole video. We all know nothing can escape it. We get it already. But is it possible for something to escape a black hole? And if you fell into one, what would really happen? The answer is probably going to surprise you, and it's not what you think. Also, new research shows that what we thought was a black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy might not even be a black hole at all. So, what is it? A tesseract full of bookshelves? Or maybe the home of Cthulhu? Or perhaps it's something far more mysterious. It's pretty safe to say that we have no idea what a black hole is, what's going on inside, or if it's something else completely. It's not like we can directly image one, but at least we can now get images of their huge shadows in space. In 2019, astronomers grabbed the first ever image of a black hole, and a new polarized image shows powerful magnetic fields wrapping around a huge black hole shadow. This supermassive black hole is some 55 million light years away from us and is bigger than the entire solar system. We're going to use this massive black hole for a simulation that involves you and a friend, but we'll get to that in a bit. You know the whole thing about nothing being able to escape a black hole? Well, is this really true? When a black hole eats up a star or a bunch of gas, they generate a powerful flow of high-energy particles close to the event horizon, the ring of fire called Hawking radiation at the edge. And if a black hole is really chewing on something, like a massive star, powerful X-ray jets shoot out and the black hole becomes a quasar, the brightest objects in the universe. Who says light can't escape it? Well, now we have another argument about nothing being able to escape a hungry black hole. This is because astronomers captured a neutron star in an elliptical orbit around a black hole that survived being swallowed completely. However, the dead star didn't get away from the black hole unscathed. Astronomers captured images of massive X-ray flares being belched out by the black hole as it was eating the star's material. The star is trapped on a nine-hour elliptical orbit around the black hole, and at its closest orbit, the black hole rips off more of the star's material and becomes bigger. It will try hard to get away, but there's no escape, as the black hole will eat it more and more until there's nothing left. So now we all understand how powerful a black hole can be, even swallowing each other. Now you might be wondering what the closest one to Earth is, and if we're in any danger of a black hole eating us sometime soon. Just recently, scientists discovered one of the smallest black holes ever found, and it just so happens it's also the closest to Earth. Astronomers have named it the Unicorn, because so far it's the only one of its kind, and it's in the constellation Monoceros the Unicorn. It's about three times the mass of our Sun, which is tiny for a black hole. And it's about 1500 light years from Earth, which means you don't need to worry. It's not going to come and swallow us up anytime soon. That's because black holes don't usually move and sit in one place, eating up everything that gets too close to them. But that doesn't mean they can't move. And here's a scary thought. In 2021, researchers got a big surprise when they discovered a supermassive black hole racing across the universe at 177,000 kilometers per hour. The big mystery is that astronomers don't know why the black hole, which is 3 million times heavier than our Sun, is speeding through the center of the galaxy about 230 million light years away. Now, that sounds crazy, and it sounds fast, but in 2017, Scientists clocked another supermassive black hole, hurtling through space at 7.2 million kilometers per hour. An enormous force would have to be responsible to get these things moving through space that fast. Maybe what we are seeing is the result of two black holes colliding, the massive collision sending the other flying wildly through space. So now we've all learned what happens when something gets too close and is sucked into a black hole. So what happens to a person and could you survive the trip? Now we've all heard that if you somehow get sucked into a black hole, you would be stretched out or spaghettified, maybe even crushed or, well, you get the idea. Now this might be true if the black hole was small enough, 
But a black hole, let's say 30 to 100 times more massive than the Sun? That's where reality becomes really strange. The moment you entered a black hole, reality would split you in two, or clone you. In one of these realities, you would be incinerated, and in the other, you would plunge into the black hole and fall through it without being harmed. How is this possible, you ask? Well, a black hole is a place where the laws of physics break down. Einstein said that gravity warps space itself, causing it to curve, and space-time can become so warped that it twists in on itself. Yes, we know that's a lot for the mind to wrap around, so it's time for a thought experiment. In the beginning, we said we were going to run a simulation involving you and a friend. Let's say that you both signed up to go on an adventure to the nearest black hole. One of you will go in, and the other will be an observer. You've flipped the coin. Your friend is going to watch you in horror as you plunge toward the black hole while they remain floating away at a safe distance. Now, this is where it gets weird. As you accelerate towards the event horizon, your friend sees you stretch and contort as if they were looking at you through a giant magnifying glass. But as you get closer to the horizon, you appear to move in slow motion, and as you reach the horizon, you remain there, motionless, stretched across the surface of the horizon, and the heat begins to engulf you. Your friend sees you slowly obliterated by the stretching of space and the ring of fire called Hawking Radiation. Before you get a chance to cross over into the darkness of the black hole, you are reduced to ash. Game over. But don't plan your funeral just yet. We need to view this scene from your point of view, because something even stranger happens. Nothing. That's right. From your perspective, you would sail straight into the ominous black hole without so much as a scratch. No slow stretching and no scalding hawking radiation either. The reason is that you are in a free-for-all and therefore you feel no gravity. If the black hole was smaller, you'd have a problem because the force of gravity would be stronger at your feet than your head and stretch you out like spaghetti. But something way more massive than our sun? The forces would be small enough you wouldn't notice them. But the sad and lonely part about this adventure is that you would live out the rest of your life pretty normally until you reached the singularity. But what's wrong with your friend? And why are they telling everyone that you've been barbecued to a crisp by radiation outside of the horizon while you're chilling inside the black hole? Actually, you really were burned to a crisp at the horizon, and you are inside the black hole at the same time. This is because the laws of nature require that you remain outside the black hole as seen from your friend's perspective, and quantum physics demands that information can never be lost and all information that accounts for your existence has to remain on the outside of the horizon. However, the laws of physics also require that you sail through the horizon without being fried by hot particles, otherwise you would be in violation of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Now, some of you are going to say, no way. And you have to admit, it's a conclusion that seems nonsensical. How can a black hole clone me, you're asking? Physicists called this mind-bending conundrum the black hole information paradox. But in reality, there's no paradox, because no one ever sees your clone. Your friend only sees one of you, and you only see yourself. Neither one of you can compare notes, and no one really knows what happens. And it doesn't matter if we try to send someone or some spacecraft inside of a black hole to relay back some data. Once inside, there will be no way for a signal to get out, and you'd be lost forever. But what an awesome trip it would be. So what about the mystery of the black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy? For years, it was widely accepted that Sagittarius A is a black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. However, some astrophysicists from Italy now say the object, which is as big as four million suns, might not be a black hole after all. The reason is that a huge gas cloud came close to the black hole. The gravitational forces of Sagittarius A should have eaten the cloud, but the cloud of gas survived with an issue. Could it be the home of Cthulhu? Well, while we love to joke about this, the answer might just be as mysterious. Some scientists say that the center could be a big bundle of that incredibly elusive stuff they call dark matter which is invisible and thought to account for 80% of the total matter in the universe, but cannot be detected because it doesn't interact with light. 
Now scientists have proposed that black holes themselves could be formed out of dark matter, which would explain why they can form so quickly before the galaxies around them. And one day, that might be proven to be true. We're starting to find out more every day. And tomorrow, we might find out everything we thought we knew is wrong. So make sure you stay tuned here so we can discover the universe together. Thanks for watching.